Football really is an amazing sport. I was just about to sit down and edit this video until I heard that Benevento had scored in the last minute against AC Milan in their Serie A match today at the time of recording. And I found out that it was the goalkeeper Andrea Brignoli who scored the equaliser in the 95th minute. I mean, they've now got a point, but then again, they haven't got a win yet, and I have. So, unfortunately for you, Benevento, it means that I am still the better manager. In the last episode, we took on AC Milan at home in Syria and lost by a goal to nil to a Hakan Chalhanoglu goal. And uh, after that point, I did think to myself, we got some difficult games coming up. I'm probably going to be bottom of the table by the time we record next. And unfortunately for most, we haven't actually had some bad results lately. We managed to take another 2-0 lead away from home, this time at Lazio, and then bottled it to go 3-2 down before we equalised in the second half to get a creditable 3-3 draw. Uh, then we got thrashed by Bologna at home in a, a game which I didn't realise that they were 6 in the league. Uh, before two wins in a row against Hellas Verona away from home and then Atalanta home which leads us into our game against Spal and the only reason I picked that is because I, apparently another football manager YouTuber did a series with them um, but I didn't really remember his name and also I don't really have a fancy graphic for the league table but I can tell you that we are currently 12th in the league and our opponents Spal are currently 16 so this is pretty much a relegation six-pointer at this time of the season. Now, normally the finance screen isn't shown on these series because my mismanagement leads to financial meltdown nine times out of ten. But an interesting statistic came out that our monthly shirt sales had only equated to £500. £500. I make double that in a month's work that I do in my job outside of YouTube. I'm not saying that I do YouTube as a job, but I mean I'd make more than that in a month. But then again, I mean, looking at the shirt, it looks like a Sunday League team at best. And we also play like one too. So after the Bologna defeat, we managed to set a new record for six games without a win in Serie A. Which, uh, you know, apparently that's another record I've broken. I mean, I'm technically becoming a world record record breaker. That's how, that's how good I am at breaking records. In terms of the squad dynamics, I found out that my captain currently isn't in any social group whatsoever. And I also found out from one of the comments in the episode before that he's been done for doping and he's banned. I mean, only in Italy this seems to happen. Or just cheating in general, really. In what seems almost like perfect timing, Amato Cicciaretti is now out injured, and he may only be able to be fit enough to make the bench against Spal. Could he stub his toe? It seems to happen to me. My star player just gets injured before the game that we're going to record on, just so we're going to lose. It's going to happen. Again. And after that injury update, we do move into our game against Spal away from home. And uh, the team starts off like this. Brignoli starts in goal, obviously. He's not going to score for me, don't worry. Uh, the two fullbacks have changed with Venuti and Lazar coming in after their performances lately have been very good. Uh, Memusai also comes in back in centre-back alongside Cataldi. Valentin Stocker plays as a number 10 again with Lombardi on the right wing and Pushkas on the left. With Masima Koda, our top goalscorer this season, leading the line once again. And I have been told that our number 90, Samuel Armenteros, it could be the meme of this series. So we are going to bring him on if I need to or if I don't. Like, I mean... To be fair, a lot of the substitutions I make, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I see that Ben is still managing Spal by the looks of it with that formation. But we do come into this game on the back of two 1-0 victories in a row. So another one here, and we could be in the top half of the table after only three episodes. Obviously not including the first episode where we were in the top three at the start of the season before any games have been played. I mean, it must be like they have only got 11 players to pick from because I've never seen a computer pick a formation like that ever in my time playing football manager. And the team talk has gone well. One of my uh, centre-backs has switched off already. Superb stuff. But these are the sort of teams that we need to be beaten if we're going to give ourselves a chance of staying up this season. You know, Spal not really going to offer much, are they? You know, my, my team's better. I know we are. I know we are. Good. I mean, I'm looking at their formation. Uh, they've... they've they, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, Albert Peloshi has uh, given Spal the lead. Good start to the game. I, it's just... Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know what the defending is. So they get the ball to the right wing. He chips it over. My centre-back decides not to take it. And the goalkeeper doesn't really cover himself in glory either. It's not a good start, but we're still in this game. We haven't got our best player on the pitch. So it might be... I mean, what on earth is that? I've got four players up front. Like, how's that happened? Now, if we can make an opportunity in Lombardi over the top for Kodar. He's put pretty much every chance he's got away. And he scores again. Massimo Kodar equalises. And after only six minutes, we are level. 
And what a goal by Masimo Koda. He is absolutely superb. He's, he's like the Danny Ings of this series. You know, the Jermaine Defoe of the first season. The... Well, I didn't I didn't have Vincent Janssen. I, I was trying to think of other clinical strikers I had in my time doing attempts to not to get sad. But Masima Koda is definitely up there. What a player. We we need to come up with a chance for him soon. Well, we had a highlight in the corner. We've somehow given the ball away. Um But we have won it back in the midfield and we've given it away again. That not really not really a surprise there at all. Although Spau have had the majority of the highlights, which isn't a good start. But we're level. That's all I care about. We're level. We're not losing. And then we have a corner. And Ante always oh, hit the post. Oh, my centre back on loan. Like 90% of the team hits the post. Oh, Koda is 2-1. I've not hit in my hands. Koda scores again. Messi Oh, no. That, does, that doesn't work. Let's... Let's forget I tried that chant. We're going to have to come up with a chant for Masima Koda. What a player. What a header that is. I mean, he has a head like a traction engine. We've scored two goals in a game. And we're leading. Again. I mean, oh, and Koda's in a goal to get a hand trick. He's got it. 3-1 over Spell. We're going into the top half of the league. Masima Koda is a god of a man. He, top goal scorer of the season. I mean, obviously, it's shocking defending from Spal. Let's let's not, you know, is is this the Spalian job? Now get the fuck up. <laughs> but we're winning three one. I mean, have they got? Who is their goalkeeper? Is he a, is he a centre back? He's not very good. Oh my god, we could go four one up. Lombardi, oh, he's put it wide. Oh dear me, we could have gone four one up at half time. What am I doing to this team? Like, what are Spal doing? Playing three one three one two. Oh dear, yep. Oh, it's, oh, shit. We could have gone 4-1 up, and now we found ourselves 3-2 up at half-time instead. I've said 3-2 up at half-time. It's not even half-time yet. I mean, who... Remember Shai is booked. Okay. I thought he was going to get red-carded there. That's that's all right. Oh, no. He's, he's, it has been red card. It's a disaster. Fine. We're going to go contain at half-time as well. We're 3-2 up. Like, why on earth do we need to attack anymore? We've scored three and a half. Masiba Koda has got all three of them. He's playing exceptionally well. We do need to hold on to this. Uh, Masiba Koda, you've been superb, but he looks confused. So I'm going to say very happy. He's just confused. Well, I'm confused how we're 3-0 up. 3-2 up. 3-0. Let's not get ahead of myself. Uh, but we're going to go contain for the rest of the half. Um, we're going to go typical Italian style. Catenaccio. Catenaccio. That's what I've read in the book. Uh, we, we have a corner, which is amazing since we're on contain. And Koda hits the par, par, again. I've said it again, he's hit the par, it's, it's not the par, it's the bar. If I could speak English, this series would be so much better. Oh, it's on the edge, oh, it's, oh, it's gone, it's gone in. Cristiano Lombardi has equalised for them, he's, uh, not sure what's happened, uh, we don't even get a, we don't even get a replay of that. It was an own goal. We don't even get a replay of it. And there's a highlight straight after that. Oh, now we get a highlight. What's going on with this game? Oh, now the highlight said it. What is going on? I didn't even press skip. I don't know what happened in that segment, but we bottled a 3-1 lead. Um, Not very good. Oh, Koda. I mean, oh, dear. Uh, Cicciaretti is going to have to come on, I think. He's, he's my best player, but he's injured. But he's, he's the only hope I've got here. Um, Inside forward support. I spawned it. It's 4-3. I was making changes and Spau have just gone ahead. This is disgraceful. I, I, oh, Jesus Christ. What is going on? What is going on? I don't know. What a game for the neutrals. But for me, this is absolutely disgraceful. Boreal. Oh, now the keeper makes the save. Now he makes the save. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Yeah, you scored in real life against AC Milan to give you your first point ever in real life. But you, you only just make a save in the 81st minute. Wanker. We're going to hit early crosses. We're going to run at the defense. We're going to play more direct passing. Pass into space. We're going to play a higher tempo. And just do anything to get us back into this game. We need a 4-4 draw. I can't believe we were 3-1 up before half time. We go down to 10 men. And then it's 3-2. And then we suddenly lose the game. Uh, oh, Jesus. Maybe this formation was the way forward. I slagged it off too early. Peloshi, like, Costa, where are you going? Oh, God. We've got no one. Oh, Koda. Surely, he's got he's got to pull something. <laughs> he's lost the ball. I said he had to, he was about to say he has to pull something out of the bag, and he's lost the ball. And Spau are on the attack again. 
I can't believe this formation is a bit Borrello than five from. It's what makes this series great. This is what makes this series great. We've uh, we. Uh, I can't even bother speaking. I, I generally can't be bothered speaking anymore. The fact my centre midfielder has got himself sent off, and we've now lost the game because of it. He's getting fined two weeks wages. Actually, you know what? Send him back to wherever he came from. Like he came in on loan from summer club. We're sending him back because like we're about to go six three down now. Because it seems like every time Spell get a highlight, it goes in the back of the net. See what I mean? We've lost 6-3 again this season. 6-3 again. I mean, I don't know how we can score three goals in the first half and then proceed to concede five in the second. We, Masiba Koda scored again. We, we've lost 6-4. 6-4 in Serie A. When does that ever happen? Masiba Koda's got four. He's going to get player of the match and we've lost the game. Oh God, I hate this game so much and yet I love it. And I make videos on it to show the people how shit I am at this game. I, I don't know what's just happened. I mean, I, I'm sitting here with my head in my hands thinking, what on earth have I just seen? I've just lost 6-4 to Spal and I've lost 6-3 this season and we can't stop conceding goals. How many goals have we conceded this year? I want to actually know how many goals we conceded this year. 21. Twi we got the worst offensive record in the league, and yet we're 15th. That makes perfect sense. Next time on Attempting Not To Get Sacked, Ray Wilkins sits in front of the Sky Sports news cameras as he tries to tell the reporters what he actually does to the club, as the club have now conceded more goals with him at the club than they did before he joined. Manager Christopher Power decides to lead the Benevento men's side to take over the women's side, thinking he'll get lucky till he realises there isn't actually a women's side and they were just modelling the new kit. And finally, star player Marto Cicciaretti decides to tell the fan how many goals and assists he's got this season combined.